feeling completely torn about it. I nearly burnt the Cornerstone Market right down to the ground. <laughs> I nearly burnt down the stove. And uh, so anyway, so this is my bl the tropical materials that is ash because I hand dried it and burnt it in the stove over there and um, a couple days ago and I videoed it and I got worried because like people love to find some reason to complain and and like you know I did nearly burn the place down <laughs> on camera <laughs> anyway so I haven't decided whether to put that on there or not but if you want to know how to make this if I haven't put the fresh one on that I just did <laughs> Anyway, there's another video where I did this. Um, there's two how to make black African soap videos that I've made online. The first one, I show how to hand burn this and how to put the stuff in the crock pot and make the soap. On the second one, I just show how to make the soap, which is what we're doing today. Only today, I'm putting essential oils in there. Ooh. And uh, so anyway, so this is our ash. There's five ounces of it. <coughs> and here's our super fats. Okay. Oh, it smells heavenly. Here's our milk, goat's milk. I did freeze it. It's fresh from the uh, farmer though, but it's been fr it's been flash frozen and put in the farmer's farm market refrigerator. So anyway, so this is my lye water and if you'll notice it's very short and that's because half the water is in here. And this is the other half. But I don't want the lye to be eaten on my milk, you know? I mean, that's just no good. I don't want to pour lye on my milk. I want this milk to be as natural as possible so that it'll be healthy for the skin. If I pour lye into my milk, I might as well pour the milk in the drain and clean out the drains while I'm at it sort of thing. So I don't like that. Now, it's not a perfect system because you are going to mix the lye water, half the lye wa half the water with all the lye and get it cold in the refrigerator or put it in ice, do whatever you want to do to chill it down and get it cold. And you got your oils here, room temperature, and, um, and you've got your milk cold but not frozen. And so we're going to put the lye water in with the oils, blend it, Give it just a few minutes because it'll go to gel, get thick, so we can't do it then. And then pour the milk in there. And that just gives the chance for the lye to, to, to work on doing its job of turning these oils into soap so it's not so potent when it hits my milk. All right? But putting full, full lye into my milk just seems wrong. Just every part of my being goes, no, 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 no. And so that's why I come up with the half water, all the lye, high, the other half of the water being used as milk. Okay, so this is an authentic black African recipe to the best of my ability, except for uh, in Africa, they often pour water on the ash and use the natural acidic lye in ash to make their soap. But we're gonna use Essential Depot lye. Hey, Meggers, bring me an Essential Depot uh, lye bottle. Oh wait, there's one right here, never mind. This is a controllable substance. I don't know if it's a controlled substance, but it's a controllable substance. When I put my oils in the lye calculator, it's gonna tell me exactly how much lye I need to use. So I'm not gonna under, lie, I'm not going to over lie, I'm not, I'm going to have it just right. So, uh, and <clears throat> we don't want lie heavy soap. When you just pour some water in here, you don't know how much acidic lie, what they call potash, is actually in here. We don't know. So, if we don't know for sure how much ash is in here, then we don't know, uh, I mean, if we don't know how much, uh, acidic lye that that ash can produce, we don't know if our soap's going to be soft, if it's going to be hard, if it's going to be just right, because we don't know how much lye we're putting in here. If we use food grade essential depot lye, we know how much lye is going in here and we can read how much to put in. So that's why I'm doing it this way. All right. So on our recipe, 
Uh, it is the, what we might call the traditional oils. Uh, coconut oil, we are using, and now this is a double batch. You cut it in half if you want to make half the amount. You have to have a four quart crock pot for half the amount and a seven quart crock pot at least for a double batch. Okay, so coconut oil is 35 ounces. Palm oil is 35 ounces. And you can get sustainable non-stir palm oil from Essential Depot. And you can get the good coconut oil from them. Olive oil, you can use regular olive oil or you can use pomace olive oil. And it's 10 ounces. And then in the water, it is 30.4 ounces. And in the lye, 12.73. So I just did 12.7. Um, and, um, oh, I take that back. We're gonna, and we've got to split the water. So 30.40 ounces has got to be split in half. So that turns out to be 15 ounces of water, 15.4 ounces of water, 15 ounces of milk, 15.4 ounces of water, and 12.7 ounces of lye. So it is 15 ounces of milk, 15.4 on the water, and 12.7 ounces on the lye. Our super fats are nine ounces of shea butter. Don't get it if you don't get it from Essential Depot. You might as well just go home. If you're not gonna buy the very best shea butter in the whole wide world, you might as well just hang it up. Buy it from Essential Depot. Uh, cocoa butter, six ounces. Same thing, best place. One tablespoon of glycerin and a good healthy squirt of vitamin E. And you get that full strength vitamin E from Essential Depot. Don't fool with that watered down stuff at, the, at your local health food stores. All right, and um, if you want to find out about the ash, it's tropical materials, it's been hand dried and burnt. Those are definitely a video to watch is my very first one. Okay, here you go. I'm going to give it back to you. Okay, so we have our gloves on to protect us from the light, and we have our goggles. Because if you don't have your goggles on, and you, um, if you don't have your goggles on, and light gets spurred up by this thing into your eye, you have to go to the hospital to get the light deactivated in your eye or it'll eat your cornea and make you go blind and your soap's going to get ruined and we can't have the soap getting ruined so just wear your goggles and you won't have to worry about that all right let me get this lie out of the way and uh i have oh there's my other milk all right now we're making four crock pots of this stuff today i'm going to show you one of them from a distance Okay, so we're putting our stick blender in. Turn it on. I'm going to bring it closer.
Now we're going to turn the crock pots on low. Turn this one on low. Get a lid on. Now I'm going to do the other two, but I'm going to bring you back and show you the milk going in. Okay, guys. I just pushed, let me see if I got this where I'm right. There we go. Okay. I just pushed the button on the stick blender and dropped this one down in one of the last uh, lye buckets. Uh, so that it's uh, not dripping stuff everywhere. Um, active lye, that is. Okay, so now we're putting in our goat's milk. And as you can see, it's just starting to sort of trace a little bit, but it's nice and fluid still. Some of that cream air is not wanting to come out of the pot. Oh, isn't that pretty? And you just blend it till you see a solid color and it'll also cause it to come to gel fast my belief system on that is the reason that this soap cooks so fast and turns to gel so quickly is the sh natural sugar in the milk see how that went from from lightly traced to very heavy trace it's the sugar okay so now we're going to keep low and we're going to put the lid on it and we're going to cook it and I'm going to bring you back and show you what you're going to look for for the next step. <clears throat> All right. This is your, see how hard it is? Okay. This is hard gel. All right. And what we worry about is that we worry about when it goes into gel like this that it'll get all hot and molten down here in the bottom okay of the crock pot and you won't know it and it'll burn down there and it'll still be hard on top so we're going to do the tic-tac-toe okay and you can put an extra toe or tick in there whatever you want to do and we're going to break it up so the air can flow through it and we're going to dig out a hole in the center so we can see what's going on down there and right now there ain't nothing going on down there but there will be and so when it gets hard like that some recipes will not get hard and you don't have to worry about this some recipes do so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the tic-tac-toe tic-tac <laughs> and we're gonna dig out a hole in the middle all the way to the bottom Okay guys, so now it has come out of gel and right over here you can see it's starting to make soap. See that? See the, the soap starting? So we're going to go ahead and give it a little stir and see how glassy it is already. Can you see that shine on there? Let me see if I can get you even closer. You see how shiny it is? In just this short period of time, it has come out of gel and it is into a Vaseline stage because of the natural sugar in the goat's milk, I think. And so um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out the process. And if you've got a hot crock pot, you can burn this stuff in a heartbeat. So you gotta stay right with this stuff. And here, look at this, the next crock pot. And it is much more foamy and really separating, turning into soap, uh, looking more goat's milkish with the separation going on. So we're ready to do some additives. And uh, I got these two here, but that crock pot, this crock pot here, it's just cooking a touch hotter than the other one over there. Amy? Yes? 
I need your help if we don't have a customer. See these super fats here? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do one and then I want you to uh, help me fill them all in. Hang on guys. And all that jazz. And so now we're going to put our black African in there. So open these up. And you got me a little one. You got me that last one that was just a little bit. Would you go get me a big one for that one? Yeah. And so we're going to put in our black African authentic tropical hand burnt ash. Or as authentic as I know how to do it. I use tropical stuff that you can get in Africa. And we're going to put in our super fats. And so here they go. And this, that's a little bit of glycerin there you're seeing. So got to scrape the bottom real good. There you go. They're right there. And now this stuff has to melt, and it'll take a little bit for this to melt. Here. Uh huh. And so we're just going to push it down into the soap and let it melt. Clean our edges good. Turn off our crock pot and turn on the lid, put the lid on it. Okay, so, and we have our powders ready to go. I'm gonna set those up here now that we got them open and ready to roar. Stay in front of the camera. She says, I'm oh, Which one? That one there is the last one to go in? Yeah. All right. Turn off the crop pot. I think this is the lid for that one. Turn off the crop pot on that one. See where we're at. All right. And you can see it melting already. super fats all melted before we add our ash to it and so that's where we're at clean the edges once you get that stirred and put the lid on it and now I'm gonna go get some okay so let's see if our super fats have melted they have and you just keep working with it stirring it to your super fats clear in and so uh, just do that with all of them and then uh, once you see that you don't have any chunks then go ahead and pour your ash in. 
And now some soap makers don't use the ash, they use cocoa powder, like that's gonna pull impurities out of the skin. And activated charcoal, we all know activated charcoal has been used for years um, to keep, to save people's lives because it soaks up poisons in the, in the stomach when somebody swallowed something they shouldn't. They put activated charcoal down their throat, down their nose, really, in a, in a pipe. I mean, in a tube, and so, so putting cocoa powder in here would not work like activated charcoal would. It would make it a nice, pretty color, though. And but this stuff here is homemade activated charcoal. Basically, it's homemade ash that's made with tropical materials, which is authentic to Africa. And now we're gonna stir it in. And while uh, you didn't put your ash in, there you go. Hey, Meggers, could you help us for a minute, too? Hey, this one here hasn't been stirred with chip yet, has no. okay. Yep, that was dissolved. Hand me that bag of ash. Just dump it in there, yep. And so I'm gonna pull you back. And uh, we got four crock pots going. If you could help us stir on um, one, we gotta get the ash all up in here before it gets too cool. Being that it's a goat's milk soap, it, cook, it cooks quicker. And so therefore it's not as hot when you go to finish it. So it can easily get too cool on you too fast. So I'm eliciting help um, to, to aid us in this problem. And it's over and over like this, remember? There you go. Starting around and around won't do much good with this stuff. Boy, this will work you up some muscles. Lazy you fly up under here. on our recipe so and I was checking the temperature of this one yeah it's still a little bit over 160 so we got time okay so uh, our essential oils that we're using is a large list we've got fennel juniper oregano lemongrass peppermint ginger, lavender, or lemon, and orange. You can eliminate ginger if you'd like. It's very expensive, okay? All right, and so I need a tablespoon measurer. Maybe. They're all dirty. They're all dirty. Can you wash me one? I got to have one uh, to measure out the essential oils. And, um, thank you. All right, so all of these essential oils right here, including grapefruit that cannot be put on a in soap, hot process soap, because its flash off temperature is 85, 85 degrees, and there's no way you can get soap 85 degrees to still work with it. Thank you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do 
Uh, so I eliminated grapefruit off the list. These are all the essential oils that are beneficial with detox. I should have got all the lids off of here before I started. And uh, so we're making a detox soap and so that's what we're working with is there's lemon, there's a tablespoon of orange, a tablespoon of lavender, a tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of peppermint. This soap would be really good to take a nice leisure tub back. A tablespoon of lemongrass. Would you open to take the lids off of those two and set the lids right there? A tablespoon of oregano. tablespoon of juniper, tablespoon of fennel. So now let's stir it up. It has a very fresh, very clean smell. I'm gonna write it down. Okay. I've got two tablespoons of these two, so I've kept them over here separate, and one tablespoon of all of these. Okay. Maggers is like, you write that recipe down, girl. You hear me? I'm not watching it. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> She's over there giggling there. Two tablespoons of orange and lemon. Two tablespoons of lemon, two tablespoons of orange. All right, and so now I think that um, that I want to go with another lemongrass so that's two tablespoons of lemongrass yeah now it's just very fresh very clean it's not like something they're gonna go oh i love it you know but it's good and um we've got two tablespoons of lemongrass lemon and orange because that's very, very good for stripping the oils off the skin and, lab and, uh, and lemongrass is a natural skin toner. I don't want this to smell like floral, so I'm not putting extra lavender in it. But I am thinking that it could use an extra peppermint. So I'm going to put two peppermint. But then the rest of them, lavender, ginger, oregano, juniper, and fennel are all in one tablespoon. Oh, it's very fresh smelling. Very fresh. Okay. Let's see what temperature we got some soap at. And look at that. Still got spots where it hadn't got thoroughly bleached. Uh, stir up on them last two. And we're going to put those in uh, molds because they're just going to go black African by itself. No, no, just, yeah, that's right. And so, 
Did you get that recipe fully, thoroughly written down? Written it down? Still in the process. Okay. Here, I'll start that. I got that one. All right. The essential oils, it's right here, got one tablespoon, and the essential oils over here got two tablespoons. All right. So now, the next recipe I'm going to do is for the other pot, and with this one, it's going to be geranium. Four tablespoons. Frankincense. And I'm keeping these bottles over here away from those bottles before they string me up. Did you, did you say one tablespoon of geranium? Uh, four tablespoons four. of geranium. Four geranium, two, two frankincense, two rosemary, and I'm going to pull the lavender out of this pile. And it's getting one, two, three, four lavender at the moment. Did you get those four? Uh, that was two frankincense, four geranium, two rosemary, and four lavender. Yeah. That's very nice, but we're going to put one more tablespoon of geranium in there. So, add a tablespoon of geranium. I want the geranium, I want this to be a floral, but frankincense is so good for the skin, rosemary is so good for the skin. Smell it and see what you think. Good. Yeah? What, is it, what do you think? When you smell it, what do you think of? Mm. Not really flowers. You don't think of floral? What do you think of? I don't really know. I smell the frankincense and it's what I smell. Is the frankincense is overwhelming it? A little bit. But I mean I smell the floral where you're getting at, but yeah, it's, it's not yeah. It's the, not right. where it needs to be. Okay, how many tablespoons of lavender did I use? Four. Okay. Let's put another lavender in here. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what? Call off that recipe. What did we end up with? Five tablespoons of geranium, two tablespoons of frankincense, two tablespoons of rosemary, and five tablespoons of lavender. Okay. How many tablespoons is that all together? Five, ten. Wait a minute. Five, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. How many tablespoons we got in the other recipe? Thirteen. How many was the other one? Two tablespoons. No, of no, no. How many was it? Thirteen was the other recipe too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thirteen each. Isn't that crazy? All right, thirteen tablespoons. Okay, so we will start mixing these up. We need moles, and we need ten teaspoons, and uh. This one here needs to go ahead and start being dumped in. So I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit. There we go. And let's get let's get this parking. Right over here, Amy. T D A spoon. Yeah, she's working on that. No, T D A spoon. Sweet tea 
teaspoons. You know, like you start your tea yeah, with your tea. I mean, I got one. Well, here. We got four of them things floating around here. Awesome. All right. Start scooping this. So, and it's just like that. Pile it. Pile it. Do two layers, a spoonful, six spoonfuls each, and then divide out between them. And this one here is the more that, and so. And get this out of the way. This is our floral, and this is our detox soap. Maybe. So you said six spoonfuls a piece? Uh huh. Okay, that's six. Okay, then you do the next one. I've never done this a day in my life. So you keep remeasuring. You know, you just take it and you go plop. Take it and you go plop. Take it and you go plop. And, and then do the next. Then throw more. You don't have to worry about the size. They'll level themselves out. One time you'll get a big and the next time you'll get a little one. Do plop. All right, you got six in there? Yeah. All right, now you just start now, put another row on three here and another row on three here until you divide it out amongst them. Okay? All right. Woohoo! Let's see what our temperature is. Amy, she says, I'm losing my mind. And I am. And like, the first time I've ever done this, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to kill me. <laughs> 60 degrees here and guys y'all give y'all send her some great comments look how awesome she's doing okay it is 160 degrees don't put it in 161 don't put it in 162 you can put it in 159 158 160 don't put it in at 62 don't put it in at 61 it's 160 okay that's what I call perfection this is a candy thermometer. I don't trust them things where you shoot them. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I trust this little booger right here. All right. And so now we're going to put our detox essential oils in here. And wish I had a spatula. I need two. I, I, don't, I don't have one right sure. Oh, she's going to hand me one. She's going to hand me one. She says, after I kill you. I don't want to be like, what's that? Uh, the guy with the puppets. Uh, I, think that's nice. I know, but uh, what's, what's the name of the puppet? That's the skeleton. <laughs> it's been blown up. He's a he's a terrorist or something. <laughs> you know the puppet comedian. The guy that does the comedian jokes with the puppets. Yeah. Walter is the old man, and then he's got the jalapeno on his stick. Okay, this is. No, a am I just. Am no, I. No. I love this. Y'all don't know anything about this? No. They've never heard of Walter. I've heard of him. I just. Particularly <laughs> don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> she said, I'm not into comedy. Well, anyway, the one that is a. Uh, it's not even going to be funny for them because they don't watch it. But the one that's a um, skeleton. Uh, that blowed himself up trying to be a, uh, what's those things where they blow themselves up on purpose to kill other people and they'll strap bombs to themselves? What is that called? Muslim? <laughs> no, that's not called a Muslim. A Muslim is a race and a religion. <laughs> not politically correct. We are going to take her out and spank her, okay? <laughs> a Muslim can be a very nice individual who does not wish to strap bombs to themselves and kill themselves. I know, you're probably out there right now watching my thing going, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but some people want to strap bombs to themselves and blow, them, and blow themselves up to kill others or call suicide bombers. <laughs> So what do I do now, Kim? Okay. Um, now, right. So anyway, so um, he's a suicide. He was a suicide bomber, and he goes, "I kill you." And it's so funny. The whole place will just die laughing, and you're not even laughing. See, I told you they wouldn't laugh. So now, why was it I said I was gonna? Oh, she gonna kill me? And you see her look over and go, "I kill you." <laughs> All right. So
so uh, have you got all the soap in there? No, you didn't get all the soap in there. Look at this. Look at this. You know that talk? I know, but, but, but if you don't get it in there, you, it's wasting money. You've got to spray my sunglasses. I'm just trying to learn before I'm filmed. Well, <laughs> she said, you see, this is like, you know what? You know who I'm teaching how to make this? Me. People that don't know how. So, see, you're the perfect person. They're like, well, look at her doing it. She can do it. I can do it. Isn't that right, guys? Tell her. Tell her. Okay, so, all right, so now, uh, we're going to poke that, oh, but not that white stuff. I don't know where the white stuff come from. We don't want the white stuff. Okay, we're going to poke the hard stuff down in there, okay, like that. <laughs> and then we're going to get the camera over here where they can see what I'm doing before they kill me. They're like, Kimberly, move the camera. Okay. And then a dirty spoon don't make a good twist. So then we're gonna beat it. Just beat it. Just beat it. What's the next line to that song? Just beat it. Uh -huh. Anyway, so then we're gonna sit and do a little flip. And if we pick up some of that hard stuff, we're gonna flip it again and poke it down in there better. And do a little flip. Do a little flip. Do a little flip. And see so you gotta act, you gotta act fast. There we go. Clean that spoon up. Clean spoon does better. All right. You can go take those away, set those somewhere out of the way, and come back and do it again. All right. So, gonna do it like this, and then do it like this. And I need four molds, but two right in the center. All right, and before you put that in that one in there, no, no, go ahead. Put put two of them uh, yeah, right there, and then put two, right one right here. All right. So now this is our detox essential oil list. Mmm, this would be a nice tub bath. Oh, that's nice. Smell it, Amy. Smell it, Amy. Mm -hmm. That smells good. Now it smells good? Mm -hmm. She says, that smells good. All right. What do you want to do with this? All right. So now we're going to do our six spoonfuls. Look at her. She's plopping like a king. You know, now, uh, when, you, when it dips over the side like that, just take your finger and rake it back in. All right. Plop. Plop, 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 plop. All right. All right. Put two more on 
top of this one. Do a twist so we didn't have any of those hard spots so it's easier to do our twists because we got it all out of the mold real quick all right there's our detox all ready to roar Don't lick the spoon. <laughs> you was looking at that spoon like, like don't lick the spoon. And this is just our plain black African goat's milk soap right here. And we're gonna have to be real careful to not get this stuff uh, uh, situated, uh, messed up. Okay. All right, so the two plain black Africans, this one and the other two that you've already took up, where'd you put those? Right there. Okay. Set those over there with the, uh, and right on one, you know that notepad I bought you, those notepads I bought you? Yeah. Tear one up and put, uh, what is bar? What is the, the bar? Huh? 31. 31. Put a 31 on top of every one of them, a little 31, so there's no way we can mix it up. Because, and then we'll put detox on this other one, because I haven't named it yet. I don't know what we're going to name it. And so, uh, Let's get this one here. And these here are gonna touch, so look, maybe this one here gets detox on it. And this one here gets detox on it. So just like right here on top. Just write a little bit of piece of paper that says lay it just lay it real gently on top. Don't press. Okay. So now we're gonna work on the next one. There's our moles, and here is that. Let me smell it again. Mmm, it smells good. This is one uh, that's got geranium, which is an antifungal, antiseptic, antibacterial, just like tea tree. Let me get my spatula. Are the other ones gonna be detox also? Nope. We'll put just put floral on them. And we'll figure out later what we're gonna call it. And I'm gonna smell this one and see. Now remember we're getting this at 60 degrees, 160 degrees.
Okay. Let's see what it smells like. Mmm. Come smell it, Amy, and tell me if you think it's floral enough. Or if it even or if it's lack of floralness with its back note of frankincense is good. And remember it's gonna be lighter smelling than that when you get done with it. Because uh, it's hot. It needs more floral. Needs more floral. Alright. I'm gonna put you on hold, guys. Smells good. Okay. We're gonna line line this baby up. One, two. Write that down on the floor recipe. Two line line so far. And increase the geranium by two more. And I may put another line line in there. Come smell it now. Remember, it's gonna be, it's hot, so it's gonna be stronger now than when it's cut and dry. Does it feel too small? Does it no. smell too strong? Mm -mm. How does it smell? Does it have a floral now? Yeah. Yeah. Smells floral. Smells clean. Smells clean and smells floral. But if it was reduced by a fourth in scent, would it be too weak? Cause it's hot right now so it's popping it's shaking if it's gonna be weaker to me right now it smells just right okay that's All right. right now okay well then what we're gonna do is then is we're gonna put uh another tablespoon of lavender another tablespoon of geranium. So that's eight now? Yeah. Uh-huh. And another tablespoon of Lang Lang. And we're gonna stir it up. And that's very true guys, your soap is hot. So what it smells like now, if it smells too strong, like oh my god, what did I do? Then you know you got it right. But if it if it smells just right, you better put some more in there. It needs another line line. <laughs> Rosemary is so awesome for skin. It's an anti-ager. I'm told it's used in many Revlon products in the anti-aging serums. Okay, Megger, your nose is fresh. Come sniff it. Is 
Sniff the soap. Sniff the soap. Oh, I'm sniffing you. Ah. Yeah. Does it feel? Does it smell too strong? No, it smells good. But it, it don't, it don't, not too strong. Not too strong. So when it dries, it's gonna be weaker than this because right now, it's more potent because it's hot. So do you think if it was a fourth weaker in smell than what it is right now, it still smell good? Yeah. Okay. You, Amy, you give it a smell. Are you a happy camper with yeah. it? Okay, she's a happy camper now. We can, put, we can dose it up. All right, get the essential oils out of here. Make sure you got your recipes right. And I'll use essential oils. I'll put those in. She says, let me have those. Geranium, lavender, and lime. No, I'll give it up. I'll tell you, I'm dangerous. Can y'all tell I like to do this little swirl? Have we got the camera on it? Okay. There we go. We have some great loaves of soap there. Ooh, and gosh, it smells good. And uh, we'll cut her tomorrow. Hey, everybody. <sighs> Plop. If you ever accidentally took nighttime cold formula medicine in the morning instead of daytime, that's why I'm sitting down. <laughs> I'm sitting down because standing up is a little bit hard. <laughs> Yesterday, I had my camera already and uh, at the house, charged it, and I got um, all out in the car and drove here and realized I left the camera at home. So we had already taken the soaps out of the moles and so we covered them with um, um, cling free wrap or plastic wrap uh, to keep them from drying out too much um, so that they would um, uh, still cut well. 
sometimes when they get dry, uh, you know, once they get harder, they're a little harder to cut. And so I wasn't sure about that. And, uh, and I've got the door open, and so you're hearing uh, street noises possibly. I'm really excited about this one. This is my detox soap. I may have to stand it up. Aha! Okay, plop again. The test. Oh, this is heavenly. The peppermint, the peppermint has really come out. And it has a real fresh, clean smell. They're all gonna look exactly the same. Black. <laughs> Um, but they, this one is beautiful. Um, now taking a, a tub bath with it I think would probably be the best bet. But leaving, um, oh look at me putting them out there. I need to be putting them over here. And the Essential Depot dry trays. Which um, I love and you should get. I heard they were on sale. Thank you for using my link by the way if you do. Um, and uh, I didn't think about the fact that all these soaps were going to be the same color and look exactly alike. Um, so next time I got to put a different type of decorative top on on them, the ones that scented. Um, this is the detox one. I gave you the recipe. The peppermint. It really smell. It really smells minty and fresh. Um, really a nice smell. Um, I think you'll really like this one. Um, I'm going to put the label, and I got extra paper and pencil here to mark them, but I'm going to put the label on the first one and the last one, um, but I think I'm also going to put something else in there because even though they do smell differently, it's new to us. And um, I don't want to get them mixed up. Mmm, <sighs> and it has just this little herbally, fresh, minty smell. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I think you'll enjoy creating this one. Okay, so, plop. I am not awake. I am not awake. Okay, so, I'm gonna write the name of it here too. So the first one and the last one, the first one and the last one of every row. And mm, <clears throat> I'm going to get a pan of water and let's see how that lathers in a minute. <clears throat> um, I'm sort of subdued by a nighttime cold formula. This is the floral. Oh, I've got a piece of plastic on me. Come on, get off of me. There we go. Oh, it's heavenly. Oh, the Lang Lang and the Dream, the frankincense is totally drowned it out. Except for you get a little background note of it. Really nice. Really nice. Mm. Now, these soaps commonly ash, um, 
And that makes them, in my opinion, even better because they are, because they're black African soaps with natural ash in them. I think, you know, I could have done that. I didn't even think of that. I could have kept these soaps more together like that. Put like the detox ones on this end and make three rows of them. Yes, that will keep them more separated. Okay, yes, put those all down there and then I'll put these up here. I am so not awake. I am so like ready to go climb back there on the couch in the break room and pile up. And I can't do it because don't have an employee day. Because today's day can't really work all by herself. Oh. Um. Yes. Totally awesome floral. Oh, if y'all could just smell this. Uh, I have found that Lang Lang and Geranium and Lavender put together makes for very happy customers. You have to put more Lavender than you do the Lang Lang or the Geranium. And the Frankincense is so good for the skin. So this is going to be a really great lifting. I mean, it lifts your spirits just smelling it. I'm glad I didn't make a sleep aid so today. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> and y'all be going like, hey, Kimberly, wake up. Hey, Kimberly, wake up. Now we won't get these mixed up at all. We've got lots of little, we've got the floral on this end and the detox on this end. The detox smelling minty and fresh and not a real super strong scent. If you want it to be really super, super strong, you'll need to put more in. But I think the amount of the essential oils that's in there is more than enough. And the floral is just like, oh. So that is good. Now we've got some of the other, but let's get this tray and get it out of the way. I'm just going to set it up on the counter here. I'll stack it up in a minute. And then We'll stack them on top of each other on their little tires later. And then these will all be the same. This is bar number 31 that is also a very popular soap. Um, as you know, we made it very aesthetically. And This one doesn't have any essential oils in it, so being two days out of the moles, well, a little over two days, um, I mean a little under two days, uh, it was a little bit harder to go through, but the essential depot cutter went through it without issue. Oh, this one here just smells so good. The um, Those Mexican bean thingies that I, starts with a T, makes me think of tapioca when I look at the word, and I can't remember what it is now. Um, 
they so make this soap smell good. And even when you're burning the ash and drying them out, the smoke smells good off of them. So, it's so cool. But this is a very good soap to have in your line. A natural black African soap, very great for impurities. Um, you know, natural ash, and you hand burned it yourself. I mean, that totally excites the customers. And so, you can't go wrong with it. Oh, it's not happy with me. But the Essential Depot Cutter will so prevail. Ah! Plop. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Don't take nighttime formula in the morning. Oh, it still smells so good. It, it's such a great, uh, it smells so good to take a bath with. I love it. It's one of my favorite. Um, in the 1800s, some scientists decided to have like a little webinar, only for them, of course, that means that they had to have everybody in the same room. So they had an amphitheater, small one, uh, where um, they got all the leading scientists of the era and they locked them up uh, in this room with them and they locked them up so that nobody could get out and do anything or buy anything, you know, add anything or bring anything in or whatever or get away and not see the end, I guess. And they ate activated charcoal and then after they did that, then they uh, took and um, took strychnine. And strychnine, of course, is a, a pretty quick death. And they kept everybody locked up in there for uh, until it was way past time that they should be dead as a doornail. And they didn't die because they had activated charcoal, and activated charcoal soaked up all the poisons in their stubble, and then was passed out naturally through the digestive system. And so, the power of activated charcoal was born. And so this is very similar to this process. Um, activated charcoal, uh, is very good to put on boo-boos and wounds, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, was used in what we might call, um, not potuses, I always want to say potuses. When they would mix up stuff and slap it on your arm and wrap it up. Um, and so activated charcoal has been known for eons now to be really great uh, for pulling out impurities. So it's really great for the skin, um, pulling out impurities out of the skin. And so this is, you might call the black African version of that. And dried and hand burnt tropical materials. And there we are. Let me bring a bar over there for you to see. Aren't those pretty? And these um, cure really fast especially if you use the recipe given, which is the authentic recipe to the best of my understanding. And from the research I have done, ta-da, all right.
let's get us a bowl of water and let's see what how this stuff lathers. Oh, let me put my 31s out here so everybody knows what those are. Got me some water. So, gosh, those over there smell so good. They just want you to go, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, I'm gonna get a little piece and get my hands wet. And let's see what we got. Ooh, bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I'm going to bring it over there where you can see it better. And we don't have black bubbles, which is really, really nice. We have very creamy lather. The goat's milk, of course, makes it just awesome. I got a little water. Isn't that awesome? And when you put more water with it, you see the bubbles. Lots of bubbles. So, this recipe is hard and creamy and moisturizing and your skin feels so good. Um, uh, when you're on the soap calculator, um, you get to play with your oils. And um, with this one, I knew the, you know, the main oils that was used as the base and as the super fats. And so I just put them in the soap calculator and worked them in the different amounts back and forth till I found a perfect recipe that was hard and creamy and bubbly and uh, moisturizing and all that kind of stuff. And so the recipe that I gave you will make your clients very, very happy or your customers, whatever you want, however you go with that. And um, it makes the skin feel very, very nice. It's sort of weird. It's almost like squeaky and moisturized at the same time, which is really, really odd feeling. But you can you you can feel a squeak, and yet you feel so creamy and moisturized at the same time. So no residue left. Um, really a great soap, and a great soap recipe when it comes to balance. So let me get my shoulders up. Uh, I'm not awake. Uh, so I hope that you will enjoy this recipe <clears throat> and it will uh, be a blessing to your uh, line of soaps at your little soapery. Um, thank you so much for using my Central Depot link when you purchase from them and um, thank you so much for watching my commercials. It helps me out here on YouTube. Alright, so I'm so out of here. i got to figure out something else now to keep me awake. Because Kimberly took the nighttime formula instead of the daytime formula. It's allergies. I shouldn't have even took it. But it was all I had at the house. Blah. All right. Bye, everybody.